This CKDU is Smooth Groove. CKDU Smooth Groove. You're listening to RS Smooth. This is Smooth Groove. CKDU 88.1 FM Smooth Grooves, and that was uh, Meek Mill, PMB Rock, and Jeremiah Dangerous. I like that record. Ladies love that record. I've seen a couple of Instagram videos where they bumping that one, so I'll look out for that. We got a special guest in the building. <laughs> I feel like DJ Envy. You know what I mean? We got a special guest in the building. <laughs> uh, Quake Matthews returning to Smooth Grooves. How you been, bro? What's going on, man? Been a long time. How you doing, Smooth? And see, I, we were joking right off the air. I was going to say this. I was thinking I was going to say this to you earlier um, when we first start, and I was going to say, it's White Rapper Day here on Smooth uh, Grooves. Oh, we played no. nothing about Mac Miller in the first <laughs> half hour, and then man, here's Quake Matthews. He's though. starting already. He's starting already. <laughs> I'm just fooling, though. I'm just fooling. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, but for real, like, I don't know if you had a chance when Mac Miller was here a couple years ago, though. He was in Halifax. Like, did you get a chance to either see him perform, chop it up with him, anything like that? Yeah, I did get to see him perform and uh i actually i actually got kicked out of that concert uh, <laughs> what remember i was with you do you remember i went to go to the bathroom me and anton and i was like super buzzed up and i went and took a <laughs> wrong turn backstage and like oh. i don't know if it was like his road manager like a girl security and yeah. she was just like you i can't think be i remember back that here. and yeah, then i was yeah. buzzed up and she was yelling at me so i started yelling back at her and then i remember security coming <laughs> and, and, and taking us out but either way he killed the show and man it's, it's definitely a super sad loss like man he seems like such an overall good guy never had the chance to meet him but i always watched his interviews and you could just tell he was a genuine guy and just by the outpour of you know rips and messages yeah. and stuff like that like so many people mess with him from all across the board from every type of different subgenre in hip hop so you could tell he definitely left an impression so yeah it's just yeah, you man. Know, just 26 years old like that's you know wow it's just it's way too young you know yeah I mean? yeah it's sad man so rest in peace and, and again a substance abuse if that's true you know wow like that's yeah it's a major issue right now yeah know? yeah yeah man I think uh, I think we gotta speak more about it like I, hmm. I don't know what's going on man it's crazy we're losing everybody people left right and center yeah and I mean you know some people actually who was telling me the other day they're like when it's a you know a rapper it's almost expected you know what I mean but when it's someone like say Demi Lovato they're like oh we need yeah. to do something and you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah. like no it has to be done for everyone man because yeah. they're, they're all too young to be losing their lives for stuff like that yeah so. it's crazy man. no doubt alright so on that note let's talk about drinking games <laughs> speaking of <laughs> <laughs> substance abuse but <laughs> oh, wow nice segue smooth <laughs> no but seriously what I seen the name drinking games actually before we go there when you did the song with Rini Smith and that was about alcohol was that is that right the, yeah 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 that was uh, just another love story yeah, yeah. which I was thinking might have fit on this project good but um you know it was like a year old yeah. and I have a pretty specific order of this project like it all goes in a perfect order to tell the overall story so I felt like uh, I might have added it as a bonus track but I mean it's already out there you can find it on Spotify and everything so uh, you know it's just a lead up I guess yeah no doubt so I, I you know there's a theme there so why the, the title drinking games so with drinking games basically what I wanted to do was tell the story of you know um, like a full summer and then it ends in the fall so basically Basically, drinking games can be taken two ways. Like, one, the literal sense, you know, drinking games, flip cup and yeah. ping pong, whatever you play. But two, I want it to be the mind games, you know, of you within yourself and also between you and your significant other trying to maintain and keep a healthy relationship throughout the summer months. Because we know in the summer months, there's a lot of temptation. There's a lot of drinkings. So it's basically the mind games that come along from drinking in the summer months. And then you end up in the fall and kind of reflect, which is why the album comes out September 21st. And you get to see the whole story, the whole reflection on the summer and what had occurred and what took place. And, and I know a lot of people can relate because I definitely... Uh, I pulled this from past stuff. I, I dug deep and pulled this from everywhere for this album. So I just definitely felt like it was a theme everyone could relate to. So, yeah, I, I'm super happy with the body of work. Nice. And, and it's just, so is it an album? Is it an EP? It's five uh, songs. It's an EP. It's okay. an EP. Yeah. It's uh, five songs, one skit. So six tracks in total. Okay. Yeah. And why I like the short, you know, is that seems to be the theme of uh, a lot of albums these days, right? Yeah. I just feel like the attention span is definitely shorter now, you know. Um, yeah. So I've been experimenting with even shortening up my verses on some of the tracks. You know, uh, obviously in hip hop, is went, it's went a long time ago from three verses to now two verses, <laughs> kind of the standard. Yeah. So I just feel like the 
attention span is getting shorter and shorter. And I felt like all I needed was really five songs to tell this story and get this this whole message across. You know, uh, I tried to experiment with putting other songs on it, but it just didn't fit. So I just feel like it's a decent body of work. You get in, it's not too long. You can invest your time into it. You don't have to take two hours to listen. And, and I think you should get the gist of it. Okay, cool. Is there like multiple producers? Is there one producer? Is the yeah, theme? there is. Uh, there is multiple producers, but not that many. I would say there's like uh, maybe, maybe like a couple. Some tracks, a couple producers worked on. So there is okay. like multiple. But I could give you the list as we go through. Okay, cool. So let, yeah, let's just you know, without any further ado, let's give them some music. So this one's called "How I Feel." This the we're gonna play this in order too, as it yeah, appears yeah, on the album. Yeah, this is in order. Okay, so cool. this is how it starts off. It's called "How I Feel," featuring Deontay Hitchcock. He's a Super dope uh, lyricist from Atlanta who I was fortunate enough to meet a couple months ago. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. This was produced by Cam Smith. Uh, sorry, he goes by My Best Friend Jacob now. Oh, does he? I okay. got to get used to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, My Best Friend Jacob, a.k.a. Cam Smith, and uh, Grant Keddy did the production on this one. And tell them, every, I know they must already know, but give them all your social media or where they can find it online. Where can they purchase this? All yeah, of so this will be available September 21st everywhere, all music platforms. Three of the songs are actually out right now on uh, all music platforms, so I'll let you know which ones those are. But yeah, you can find me uh, everywhere at Quake Matthews, at Quake Matthews on every platform. All right, let's get into this How I Feel from Quake Matthews, giving you an exclusive preview on CKDU 88.1 FM, Smooth Grooves. Keep it locked. He was last seen in the Hollywood area. It's Mr. Matthews. Yeah, pour a cold glass, let me start my day And never toast to the fact I ain't gotta do a job I hate Thinking back, man, I thought I'd never find my way But nowadays they can't deny my fate Shit is getting surreal Cause they flying me all over the globe Just so I can say the shit that I feel Sitting in my hotel, staring out the window I see the London Bridge, wondering if one day this may all fall down But there's no turning back right now I came too far, this what I was dreaming about Back in the schoolyard, hand me down clothes And some scuffed up shoes on Out of town shows, where I slept on the futon This from all them hoes who would never let me close Now I see them at the shows and they say it's been too long Look mom, we made the radio for real And I never watered down I did it just saying how I feel I'm killing off and living how I live Gotta thank the Lord for blessing me for real I'm just saying how I feel Kept it real from beginning to the end Made a couple dollars, lost a couple friends I'm just saying how I feel So I'm just saying how I feel I'm just saying how I feel So I'm just saying how I feel I'm just saying how I feel How I feel Life is ruthless and ain't supposed to be easy See my wild shit and rip this But if I told you, dog, you wouldn't believe it Or not, sometimes I wonder like Steven How it would've been But you either make it out the trap Or die word of Jesus I made it just like my grandmama told me Used to drop a two and a four or an eight Had me feeling like Kobe But now I'm leaning on my own understanding Like a young paid man And I passed on my vices And prayed for my balance Now the weight of the world on my shoulders All faith, walking blind But hard times can't make you soft-spoken Now I ain't got it figured out But I'm hoping that I can find me some closure But I can't do that unless I'm being open with y'all, the world, myself, and the way I deal with the bullshit that comes my way, I just pray and heal, I done made a killing off of spitting how I live, and I never walked it down, I did it just saying how I feel, made a killing off of living how I live, gotta thank the Lord for blessing me for real, I'm just saying how I feel, kept it real from beginning to the end, made a couple dollars, lost a couple friends, I'm just saying how I feel, so I'm just saying how I feel, I'm just saying how I feel, I'm just saying how I feel.
You're getting exclusives, man, off of Drinking Games from Quake Matthews, who's yes, live in the sir. studio. That one's called How I Feel. And uh, Deontay Hitchcock, that's the dude? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's from Atlanta. Actually, um, I was chilling with a friend of mine, uh, Stax. Shout out Stax. He, he's always up on new music and stuff like that. And he's like, man, you got to you gotta check this guy out. Like, he's super dope. He reminds me of J. Cole. I think you would vibe well with him. So, like, he played this song. Uh, I forget what the song was called right now. But I was like, wow, this guy is dope. He's like, you should try to do a track with him. And I was like, you know what? I will. So, I don't know. Like, somehow I was going to Atlanta. And we have a, a friend there, like an OG from Atlanta, Richard. And this dude just, like, knows everyone in the Atlanta scene. Like, he has got crazy stories for days. And I was like, uh, we were like, yo, by any chance, do you know Deontay Hitchcock? He's like, oh, yeah, I'm real cool with his manager. He's like, yeah, I'll set that up. Like, nice. so as soon as we got there, just set up the studio. And we just went through beats. He, he drew to this one. So, yeah, just kind of vibed it out, that's man. Dope. No, it sounds good to me. You know, yeah. you, for the first track, that's banging. A good way to start off the Drinking yeah, Games project. Yeah. No doubt. And so let's move on. This one's called July, uh, featuring Jordan. Yeah. yeah. So so tell me about this. So yeah. this is basically, basically the first one is like, it lets you know where my head's at. It's introduction. You know, it gets it going. Now July is where you really get into like the relationship. And so basically it's like, you know, at the start of May, you can kind of tell, uh, okay, she's like, her eye is wandering, your eye might be wandering, you're drinking a lot, little white lies are occurring and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and it's almost literally as if the heat makes you that way. You know what I mean? It brings it out of you. So that's basically what I wanted to capture with this. It's kind of like the beginning of the end. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> this sounds like a lot of like real stuff like you know that you said you drew from the past and stuff but it sounds real personal like you know what i mean like you, you talking about a, maybe not one situation but different situations. yeah i feel like i drew from all over the place and uh i know my girl's listening right now leah i'm happy as hell with you <laughs> happy as hell with you babe but uh yeah I, I definitely drew from you know the past and and different stories and just put together like this one overall thing that i thought a lot of people can relate to especially younger people i feel like a lot of this stuff is what you go through in your early early 20s and stuff like that we'll play this but like i just got a question like so you mentioned that do you do you find like it when you write music and you want to do stuff like that you have to have in your mind but my significant other might think i'm talking about this specific situation where you're not even talking about anything you know i used to i used to do that and uh you know um uh, it's happened to me before where where there's been big arguments, but uh, I'm with a cool one right now. I know she's listening, but yeah, I, I am, man. And I, I told her, and she fully understands this is my art, and, you know, uh, it's a form of expression. You can't, once you start censoring your form of expression, what do you have left? So she's thankfully very understanding, and, uh, you know, sometimes I might say some some shit, but she knows it's all, it's all for the purpose of the project, and, uh, you know, my success is her success at the end of the day, too, man, so, okay, cool. yeah. You ever put her on a track? You ever have that in your She's life? on a skid on this one. Oh, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. get to that next then. Yeah, and she's in the Confessions video, if you see that that video. But we had the, uh, Samson, you know, the rapper Samson, yeah, yeah. his son actually played our kid in the Confessions video, but okay. it's funny because, like, she's really, like, darker, and I have brown hair, and his son has, like, blonde hair, so a couple <laughs> people were laughing, like, how is that your guys' son? But, yeah. yeah it's all good. Okay, yeah. CKDU 88.1 FM talking with Quake Matthews, giving the exclusives of his new project, Drinking Games, this was called July, featuring Jordan. How did that link up? I mean, I know you guys did multiple um, songs before. But. Yeah, so basically, man, I just had that July. I was like, July, I could tell that July. I thought of that one day, and I was just like, wow, that's pretty clever. That's pretty dope. So I was like, you know, I, I first I sung the hook uh, on the rough first, and then I was like, man, I need to get someone else to do it. So I ended up getting Earl B to do it, and then with just the intention to pitch it to someone else. So we try to... A couple people but then i was like you know what i feel like jordan would 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 suit this so i just sent it to jordan and uh you know we had to throw it together last minute he came through for me killed it so big ups to jordan and a fun little fact with jordan is he is the only person that is on every single album i've ever released today nice. yeah <laughs> that's dope yeah it's good that you can keep that going um and i noticed before you dropped this you were dropping little like things that like little videos of people lying is that was that the campaign or the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah 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 so what was the idea behind that so you could just go check it out on instagram i just i just had the 
idea one day like i thought it was funny like you know i don't know if you saw the one on like uh divorce court when the guys obviously lied yeah. <laughs> you, you could go on my instagram right now and scroll down and see the whole july campaign but i just basically thought it was funny and it would be a fresh way to keep new content coming and pull more people towards the song you know rather than just posting the cover art every day check the new song check i found it was like a you know a different way to engage and people got to laugh every time they saw it and it was something new every day so, so did it work like did it yeah yeah i thought i thought it worked well people seem to people seem to draw to it so nice yeah, yeah I, I thought it was something different i liked it you yeah know, yeah so. yeah all right so let's get into this is quake matthews july featuring jordan check out the new project drinking game september 21st all platforms yes can they pre-order it or anything uh, there is no pre-order no september 21st please please support me yeah, no doubt. Check this out. See, this CKDU is Smooth Groove. CKDU, Smooth Groove. You're listening to RS Smooth. This is Smooth Groove. I could tell you felt the summer coming Cause the gym became your job And you was working on that summer stomach Selfies on the treadmill I told you keep it up Little did I know that you were really trying to run from us Yeah, then I started seeing the signs The warmer the weather got The less you felt like you mine And the less you seemed to wear The more you was catching eyes All your followers was forming an imaginary line Now this random text is all on your phone I guess the number's up You said I was paranoid though And I should learn to trust Looking all surprised Saying everything is fine As the summer sun's gleaming off your eyes I can tell that you lie For sure Make your heart so cold And I just really hope you know That I know, I know that you lie Yeah, for sure Cause I'ma make your heart so cold And I just really hope you know That I know, I know that you lie I, 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 I Way you look at me makes me feel like a hypocrite Cause I know that you know I'm no Mr. Innocent We both insecure, but I just don't like admitting it Like fuck it, I'ma live life too If you living it right But that sounds like the liquor talking Up in the club, all the way up of Remy Martin When I bumped into our old fling We caught up on the new And I filled the rent on everything in life Except for you When the season's in effect We conveniently forget And the ones that matter most Are the people we neglect So I came home late And told you I was with the guys And your eyes Look through me as you reply, boy I can tell that you lie For sure Cause I'ma make your heart so cold And I just really hope you know That I know, I know that you lie Yeah For sure Cause I'ma make your heart so cold And I just really hope you know That I know, I know that you lie Yeah, July from Quake Matthews, Jordan, who's, uh, well, Quake Matthews is live in the studio right now. CKDU 88.1 FM, we live in Halifax, Smooth Grooves. I like that record, man. Yeah, That's- man, and shout out to uh, my best friend Jacob again as well, as well as uh, Big Joe. They collaborated on that beat, so yeah. Yeah. Shout out to both of those guys, man. I really like that. Seriously, that's a, a big single. Like, is that something that was? Was that the first single? Off that the was album? the first thing we released. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And there is a video. Uh, yes, there is a video. You could check it out on YouTube right now. Um, yeah, go check it out. It was crazy. Like we had to throw it together like the last day, of, like some unforeseen circumstances. So like, man, we got that shit together like quicker than I've ever got a video together. So shout out to Weston Social who directed the video, man. It came out super clean. Check it out on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I like it. I like that record. Yeah. No doubt. 
Um, are you getting much response from radio with some of this? You know, or are you even trying for radio, like mainstream? I mean, not just this. Um, you know what? Uh, I haven't tried with anything yet, but honestly, I think I'm going to try for this next song we're about to get into, Drinking okay. Games. Uh, I think just for the Top 40 radio, it has the best format and it's just the best vibe and the upbeat vibe. Um, yeah, I think it could work, man. I definitely think it could work. I mean, I want to ask you questions, but it's like I know that you're still looking, so I don't want you to <laughs> say something that maybe the radio stations won't play your stuff. But I mean, I, you know, what is your, have you been frustrated with like, because I, I think personally, again, just knowing some of the music you've released that I think it fits in on a lot of uh, Top 40 radio and I think you've had success like Confessions, but I feel like there's more that you've put out that should have been played. Yeah, I mean, but the process is, uh, the process is different. So it's like, you know, if you don't go and hire the radio promoter, it's like, there's no real way to get that campaign going. And Confessions was really the first time we actually did that and took that leap of faith and, you know, hired a radio promoter for that campaign. And then, you know, when they believe in it, that's that's their job is to go door to door and get it played. So I know a lot of people like always ask the question, like, how come this wasn't on there? How mm. come that one isn't? But well, it's kind of hard to get it going unless you actually hire a team for that particular song and get them to push it. So, and you know, it's a. Uh, it's sometimes coming up it's, it's very expensive to do that's that a, you know that what I mean? it's super expensive to yeah. do that so it gotta be it's almost, it's a big risk so it kinda gotta be the right record and you know you gotta you kinda gotta just go for it okay cool so let's get into this this one's called Drinking Games who did you say produced this? Uh, this one was produced by my dude Mikhail he's from Toronto uh, we made this song at a song camp actually like one of the first days I met the dude super dope producer man produced for like Wayne Drake Gucci nice. like uh, Black Thought like countless crazy records so uh, yeah man he played this one day me him and a dude Chris Kirby from Newfoundland uh, kind of made this song together Chris kind of did some of the vocal stuff and helped with the hook and then uh, basically I thought it would fit Earl B perfect and since I had Jordan on the July instead of him I was like alright let me try him on this one and I, I think he killed it like okay. it's straight up in his pocket man and uh, Earl B's an unbelievable talent I'm, I'm excited to see what he does yes. in the future I feel like this could be a I hope you know, he does a I got man, catapult for him man Earl B I got a lot of respect I think he's dope and I just yeah. think you know he should come out and do his thing no I think doubt. he's been quietly secretly working on his craft like he sent me like probably four or five ideas in like the last two days and good. they're all ridiculous oh, that's man. good man. yeah that's, so that's i'm excited to, to see what he does next man so before we get to that though we're gonna play the skit a night out so we'll yeah. go from the skit right into drinking games yeah yeah so describe yeah describe yeah. the skit or what's the skit so basically about? the skit is just a phone call of uh my best friend dicky he's trying to get me to come to this party or whatever and i'm making all these excuses you know i gotta finish the album i got deadlines when really i could be like after July, I could be kind of stressing about this girl. I don't know. It could be rocky. You know what I mean? Mm. So basically, I'm like, I can't come out. Then I'm like, oh, I got a call on the other line. And it's the girl. And then the girl's like, oh, I miss you. Do you want to come out? And I'm like, you know what? I could exactly what I need right now is a night out and no hesitation I go <laughs> so Dickie's trying to beg me but then on the other hand and sometimes it's like that you know mm. you do crazy things for love so that's basically the uh, the story with that and in Drinking Games there's actually a skit um, in the middle of the song where I answer the phone hello if you guys know that part and I feel like that's Dickie calling me back and he's being like you're with her aren't you You're and I'm trying to lie and then at the okay. end I admit it so you'll, you'll hear it all play out you can tell that you lie Yes, sir. <laughs> no doubt Quake Matthews here so this is a night out and then Drinking Games featuring Earl B from Drinking Games September 21st look out for that Smooth Groove CKDU 88.1 FM <sighs> fuck I'm never gonna get this fit uh Dickie not right now bro hello Stace Sis, say, what up, man? What up? Hey, 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 man. Listen, there's a little something going on tonight, man. What are you doing later? You ready to go? Oh, man. I gotta. I don't even think I can, bro. Like, I got this final mix I gotta work on. Um, It's an album man. deadline. Bro, blah, I got. Blah, blah, blah. I get it, bro. It's the end of the summer, though, man. You need to give it a rest. We down that basement all fucking summer long. I don't think I can do it, man. I, got, I can't. I can't. I gotta Listen, stay in. Man, it's beautiful, though, man. You're down there stressing about this and that. Like, give it a man, let's get a bottle. You need to unwind, bro. You really just need to, you need to let it go. Man. It's the last of the nice weather, bro. Let's live it up. Man, cocksucker. I don't think I can, but, uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> look, all right, look. I'm going to call you back. I got another call right now. I'm going to call you back, but I don't think I can make it, man. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you know. Yo, I'll call you back in a bit, all right? All right, tell <laughs> that I said what up. <laughs> just fuck up. All right, I'll call you in a minute. All right. All right, bro. Hello. Matt, before you hang up, I just want to say that I really miss you. 
Look, me and the girls are going to 90s night tonight at the lower deck. Um, it would be really nice to see you there if you want to meet me. You know what? I think I could use a night out tonight. Ooh, how do you go down so smooth? I'm just trying to drink you up. And I know I'm going to be hurting tomorrow. But tonight I can't get enough. I don't even know what to say to you. But I'm real sick of chasing you. So let me be straight with you. Girl, I just want to get a little taste of you in that bathing suit. So forget your man. He don't make the rules. And I don't mean to make you choose. But I'm drunk in love with the way you move. That bottle shaped body just got to be 80 proof. Because you, you. Keep hanging me over. Playing your drinking games. If I ever get sober, I'll never be the same Can you slow it down for a minute? I think you're going to my head Keep hanging me over and I keep on playing Playing your drinking games In a red dress Cause she gon' have you hooked for real Sold my soul and I took the deal Now I don't know how to feel Sometimes I hate you But I love you Try and figure out if I trust you So I'm back and forth like racket sports Cause you served me up That I'm back for more than you You Keep hanging me over Playing your drinking games If I ever get sober I'll never be the same Can you slow it down for a minute to my head Keep hanging me over And I keep on playing Playing your drinking games Yellow not too much, what are you doing? No, I'm not. I, I swear to God I'm not with it. Nah, we're done for good. I told you we're done for good this time. I prop. <sighs> yeah, she's here. Keep hanging me over, playing your drinking game. If I ever get sober, I'll never be the same. Can you slow it down for a minute? to my head Keep hanging me over And I keep on playing Man, I like that a lot, man. Come on, Earl B. Stop sleeping on yourself. Yeah, like, man. Come on, Earl man. B. Killed that, Jeez, man. man. Yo, when he did that end part, there was originally uh, a part in the song we had where it was like everyone in the room reacting, going crazy. And like, I was going to keep it in there, but then I don't end up getting taken out. And then uh, we just left it that way. But yeah, man, Earl B. Shout out to Earl B., man. Incredible talent. Incredible person, too, man. Earl B's, Earl B's one of the coolest, coolest cats in this music thing, man. So... Yeah, man. Shout out to him. CKDU 88.1 FM. Quake Matthews live in the building talking about drinking games. The EP dropping on September 21st. The live, well, the first day of fall, last day of summer, I guess. Yes, sir. Yes, no sir. Doubt. You see that transition. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's talk about this one. Grandma's cooking. <laughs> What's yeah. Up with that? I so, mean, it's self-explanatory. Yeah. I guess, so but. basically, uh, you know, I was trying to think, how am I going to make a hangover song like you know, like when you're hungover, you make all these mistakes and you regret it. And I was like, is it going to be a sad song? I originally thought I was like, you know what? Nah, I always think of hangovers and I used to relate it all growing up to my grandmother's because we used to go there every Sunday for lunch. So like, you know, Saturday night, you'd be going off, right? <laughs> and then you wake up and then it's like, 
damn, you roll out of bed and then you go. And the, the best thing for the hangover is, you know, grandma's cooking no and seeing family. And you kind of forget about that hangover for a minute. So instead of going in a negative direction, I kind of took the positive out of a bad feeling. You know what I mean? Nice. So, And I actually got my real grandmother on this song three times throughout the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got her. I asked her one day uh, how to make her Lebanese rice. And then I started my voice note recorder on my phone. And then I started taping her without her knowing it. And I chopped it up and put it all together in the song song and i guess uh my aunt played it for her the other day and she cried and everything nice. and loved it so yeah this is definitely probably man this is probably one of my favorite songs i've ever made in my career definitely one of the most special songs in my career uh i think it's my favorite off the project but uh yeah what's your favorite thing that your grandmother cooks um Man, she cooks so much stuff, man. Uh, What's that go-to? Cool, I like kusa. Kusa, it's like a vegetable marrow, almost like a zucchini, but it's stuffed with like tomatoes and rice and ground beef. And But man, she does it all. She does kibbe, a bunch of different oh, ways. Man. She does tabbouleh. She does like, she's the best on like a roast or like a roast chicken or a lamb shish kebab. Like she does it all, man. Pizza, she kills it. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, I mean, now she, that you've made me hungry, yeah. we got to go for grandma's cooking one Sunday. Yeah, you know what I mean? and on this beat, <laughs> Shout out to Big Joe. He produced this. And uh, big shout out to Dylan Gothro, man. Uh, he played uh, some of the guitar on this. And actually, Dylan was, like, with me throughout this whole project, man. He, like, I couldn't have done it without him. He was lining little files up for me, putting extra melodies on stuff, playing instruments. So, he, like, he was almost like an executive producer, if you will. So, big up to Dylan. Couldn't have done it without him. And also, a dude named Thomas from Nashville. He sings the background vocals on this. So, check it out. Grandma's cooking from Quake Matthews off the project drinking game, CKDU 88.1 FM Smooth Grooves. I usually, all my life, I used to I used to use Uncle Ben's rice. Now, I'm using the raw grain. It's the same, whatever I could find on sale, I get it. I wake up Sunday morning, head bumping, it's mad bright Looking at the mirror like, when will I stop this fast life? Eyes like to break lights, jump in the shower, been washed off last night Flashbacks replaying like sports center highlights Except they low lights from seeing double through my eyesight Damn, phone ringing, it's my dad saying You ready to go, right? It said, I can barely move I'm rolling back off the couch to grab my shoes Mumbling to myself as I'm stumbling Saying I'm quitting booze Cause it brings out the anxiety that's tying me to you And my liver's fighting back Cause it's tired of the abuse So the stress is setting in But the best thing for the blues is my grandma's cooking Yeah, it tastes better cause she makes it with love So there ain't nothing like my grandma's cooking Every Sunday morning, let it soak up the buzz I swear there's nothing like my grandma's cooking Nah, it tastes better cause she makes it with love There ain't nothing like my grandma's cooking Every Sunday morning, let it soak up the buzz You wash the rice and you put it beside you Soon the vermicelli turns pink Put the, the rice, stir the and take a little bit of salt we walking through the door Little cousins are rolling around on the floor Uncles watching football Talking scores from the night before Aunts pass around vegetable trays The aroma from the kitchen Smells like heaven's gate Set me a place Pray for those that we lost on the way If only FedEx is to heaven I would send my grandfather a plate And so for now I just enjoy it for them I'm laughing as my uncles tease my sister Asking when they finally gonna meet a boyfriend <laughs> Pass the kid be night yeah, and leave that plate of love her mishwa right here beside me. I'm more excited for this feast than my little cousin is for his sneaks as he's showing off his new Nikes. I used to be just like him, since then I traveled all around the world twice, and I still haven't tasted nothing quite like my grandma's cooking. Yeah, it tastes better cause she makes it with love, so there ain't nothing like my grandma's cooking. Every Sunday morning, let it soak up the buzz I swear there's nothing like my grandma's cooking Nah, it tastes better cause she makes it with love There ain't nothing like my grandma's cooking Every Sunday morning, let it soak up the buzz I swear there's nothing like my grandma's cooking Like my I loaded the stove yeah. and let them simmer easy. They need 15 minutes. They dry all the water. They drink all the water. Yeah. And let shut it off. Let it let it simmer. And that's it. Yeah. Man, I really like that too, man. Seriously, yeah. I can see the video now. You know what I mean? 
yes, man. Yes, grandma's Taita. cooking. Taita is is the best, man. I was gonna call it Taita's cooking. That's what uh, grandmother is in Lebanese, but I felt like a lot of people might not get it, and I want to make it so that it was easily understandable. But yeah. Definitely one of my favorites, man, for sure. I can see the video right now, man. You yeah, gotta put her man. In there. I got to ask her. I got to ask her. She's, see if she's down to get in the video. <laughs> no doubt. CKDU 88.1 FM talking with Quake Matthews. He's got this new project coming out in a couple weeks, um, Drinking Games. And so we're going to end it off with this, Not Too Late. Um, so what's that all about? Yeah, so Not Too Late is kind of like, you know, you're at the end of the summer now. You went through your beginning stage you went through your party stage you went through the hangover stage and now you're just kind of like damn i messed up i kind of want this girl back i want things back the way they used to be before summer coughing season i think they call it isn't it <laughs> yeah. smooth is that what the kids are saying these days <laughs> don't ask me but yeah, yeah. <laughs> no but yeah that's kind of what it is it's like damn i had all this fun or supposed fun but now you wake up and it's back to normal it's like damn i, I miss what I had, like I threw a lot of things away by being careless from playing these drinking games. And so now it's called If It's Not Too Late. It's basically like you want the girl back now. I like the concept of this album, the yeah. running theme. It seems like it works with all the songs and all yeah, that. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's dope. You know what I mean? So Not Too Late, who did this? Did the, beat? Uh, the beat was done originally a dude named Jordan Woodside from PEI sent me the like skeleton of the beat. And then I brought it to Dylan and Dylan just... Uh, added his flavor to it added some harmonies to it and just brought it up to another level so both of those dudes couldn't have done it without them man so big ups to them also it features Rhea May who is one of my favorite artists hands down one of the best people hands down so I'm blessed I'm blessed she just sent me this hook one day and was like I thought you would fit this perfectly and I was like wow man so you know as well as Rhea's doing for her to for her to still take time out and think about other people like that man it's truly a blessing so big up to Rhea much love to Rhea yeah man Shout out to Rhea May, no doubt. CKDU 88.1 FM, do you have any plans to like tour or anything like that off of this project? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually setting up some dates now. So, uh, And I've already been doing a couple of dates. I just did a college show that was pretty dope out in Peterborough uh, last week. Me and Jordan did that. Nice. So there's going to be some more college shows. Um, going to go down to Atlanta. Got a plans to go to Sweden for a festival. And there's nice. going to be some, some cross Canada stuff too. So a bunch of stuff in the works. Stay tuned for sure. If there's anyone out there that wants to book you, what's the information? How can they do that? Yeah, if you want to book me, just uh, hit me up on any social media platform or email, and I will direct you uh, to the proper parties. Is that how you say it, professional? The pro <laughs> I will direct you to the proper parties, and uh, yeah, we'll make we'll make it happen. Um, I'm easy to work with. Let's let's do it. Let's and speaking it. of that, what if there's someone that's listening that's like, yo, I got to get Quake on a feature or on a song or anything. Are you open to doing that? Obviously, it must depend on the quality of the yeah, song. Yeah. Um, usually, man, like, usually I don't really do a lot of features unless unless it's like mutual or something like that like if it makes sense or we're in the same room or but it, usually i don't do like the email like yo can you send me this <laughs> verse yeah. uh and i mean that's not to say that there's not a lot of dope shit out there but sometimes it goes against what i'm doing and it will go on your spotify under appears on you know every little feature you do so if that's like if you don't fully believe in the song then it could hurt you not to do it so i try not to do features unless i fully fully believe in it and at that point it's not even about the money it's not a pain whatever it's just like is this good music or not and that's yeah. that's really what it comes down to okay let's get into this thanks for coming out to ckd and always you know showing love and uh you know previewing your your music and letting us know what you're up to yeah man you know you know always always love coming up what year is this for this like how, how smooth long grooves for smooth grooves so it's, it's celebrated smooth grooves itself celebrated 20 years in june so yeah. 20 years yeah. wow so it started <laughs> when i was three years old <laughs> really <Man. laughs> wow <laughs> you lying anyway <laughs> <laughs> i can tell that you lie you know <laughs> all right so quake matthews thanks again for coming through and again uh september 21st First, that's when people can get this right? yes yeah, september 21st drinking games available everywhere worldwide every platform uh go support it man let's get god into this. bless not too late from quake matthews featuring <laughs> ria may ckdu 88.1 fm smooth grooves do you love me do you hold my heart in both hands like i do yours if it's not too How do we get here? How do we get here? Girl, I know you gave me some of your best years. Now look where it's at. 
I know it started as a fling And I thought that I had you on the string Cause you kept coming back Every time I would lead you astray I was young and blind and my pride was in the way It's 2020 vision when I look back now Cause I see all the things I should've took back now All the nights I was gone Chasing skirts and patrol Like babe, I gotta go, my battery's getting low Looking for the next thing While I had the best thing Sitting up alone, waiting for me at home Just a lost little boy, too caught up in the image Hope you realize it takes a man to admit it Cause I'm grown and I just wanna set things straight Every Every time I close my eyes, I see your face like that. Yeah. Caught up in a daydream that we haven't grown apart As I push around his grocery cart And the whiskey out Cause it helps with a broken heart And brings light to a place that is mostly dark Just then I looked up at the door And saw you walk in with someone I never saw before My heart jumped out of my chest It was right on the floor Cold sweat coming out of my pores I was trying to sneak a peek so that you wouldn't catch me I hid behind the shelf as I'm out here gasping I won't even lie girl you look so happy That I put my hat down and let you walk right past me By now you probably heard this song and i hope you found everything that you want but if you ever feel it going astray just know that with me it's never too late and i promise i'll wait Quick Matthews feature Rhea May from the album Drinking Games dropping on September 21st. Check for that. All right, thank you for listening for this week.